So, so we have a whole bunch of sensors on the, uh, on, on, on the uh, vehicle. Uh, firstly, everything, all our critical functions are obviously monitored, right from the motor. Uh, we start off with the RPM speed, uh, uh, the sort of torque you're providing, the current voltage, what ripple, any fluctuations in current and all that. All that is monitored and stored. Uh, in the battery, we monitor different cells. Uh, we monitor, uh, not just as a battery pack, but at a cell level, we monitor the temperature, the voltage, the current, uh, other functional, other key performance indexes we need to, we need to track. Uh, this obviously is a, is a core that's really part of the electric vehicle. So we monitor these things, but on top of that, we also monitor things like type pressure. We monitor uh, accelerometer data, which is uh, how are you banking, gyroscope, uh, magnetometer. So you understand what direction you're going, how much are you banking, how much are you pitching, right? Uh, what sort of what sort of road input are you getting? How how bad is the road, right? Uh, we also track uh, uh, what brake do you use and how many times are you really using the horn, right? Um, so uh, all this data really gets back into one common, uh, we have a digital dashboard, uh, which is a touch screen interface. Uh, that enables us to break the barrier between the rider and the vehicle. What's, what's important is how we you use the data. Um, so that's really what, we, what we're focusing on. We have a data intelligence team at Aether that's focusing on uh, really making sense out of all this data, right? Uh, so one key f functionality could be, say say you go, uh, you, you leave home from at five o'clock every day from, from your office. Um, your phone knows that phone knows where home is phone knows where office is right it's inherent it's, it's important that your vehicle starts learning that as well and that's what we're trying to get to so at around 5 5 p.m right the phone's the vehicle's going to guess that you, you're going home and it's going to ask you and you say yes uh, it's going to immediately run a calculation of energy right it's going to ensure whether it has enough energy or not right and one step before that uh, today uh, vehicles tell you x percentage battery left that's pointless it's okay if it's a phone but uh, because phones are used pretty much uh, not very differently, right? But uh, you and I are a very different rider. Uh, how aggressive we are, how mellow we are, what sort of efficiency we ride that are very different, right? Uh, so it's so the X percentage battery for you and me might mean very different in terms of kilometers. So what the vehicle is also constantly learning you as a rider, pr rider profiling you, right? So it's understanding what so much energy means, how many kilometers for you, right? Then we, what if we could add more data to that? So we are, we're now looking at adding more filters to that, right? We are trying to add GPS coordinates, which means we understand the topology, uh, the number of upslopes and downslopes. If we can now add another filter of uh, of ambient temperature, right? So we know the weather, weather conditions that affect perf uh, efficiency quite a lot. So we start adding those filters. Um, so then we, the more filters we add, uh, the better we can interpret this data, and we can see how many kilometers you're going to last. So on that particular day, you've not charged your vehicle, right? And you're not probably not going to get home. The vehicle's going to auto tune itself, right? It's going to ensure it gets a little slower. The accelerations are shaved off a little bit, but you get home, but a little slower, right? Uh, so these are this is really the tip of the iceberg that we can start doing, right? So yeah, ob obviously navigation is cool, but that's not really where smart kicks, and I think it's, it's very misunderstood when you uh, add a map and you add GSM and your your IoT. Uh, I, I I I don't think it's as simple as that. So yeah, so. Um, this is where smart kicks in, right? So where we really change user experience based on data that we receive and we interpret. So, IoT also helps us uh, enhance experience with respect to charging. Uh, so all our charging infrastructure that we are putting up is also on the grid uh, with respect to uh, our information grid, right? Uh, so we could also tell you uh, seamlessly integrate that to navigation. So while you're getting home, you probably want the charging station that's closest on the way, right? With the least deviation. Um, we could tell you which charging station is running, uh, occupied, available, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So really having all this on the grid, ensuring we're tracking all of this helps us provide a much better use experience.